Hi, Lee Robinson here from American Sentinel K9. It is July 9th of 2016, and it is well over 90 degrees here. But uh, hey, I've been doing dog chores, and it's covered. With, I'm covered with sweat. And while I'm doing those chores, I'm able to think about other things that matter. And I'm just going to express a few of my thoughts, and hopefully, you'll learn something here and be able to pass it on to to those that you love. <clears throat> now, the first teacher that I uh, want to deal with is Stephen Covey from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. In his book. He talks, uh, uh, there's a section that says, seek first to understand, then to be understood. This doesn't mean hear other people. This means to really understand them, to hear them, to listen, to take it to heart, to acknowledge, and to change your behaviors to express appreciation for their concerns. When you do that, and your concerns come up later, they will be more likely to have a mutualistic effect, a synergistic effect. I help you, you help me. Just to be honest. Uh, courtesy to return the favor and by having a support system of leaning on one another they're able to achieve much greater things and if you look behind me you'll see uh, we have some woods and when the high winds blow this tree leans on that tree and that tree leans on this tree and the the trees are able to support one another and able to endure a lot of pressure united they stand divided they fall well, right now, there are some people that want to divide this awesome, great United States, United country, um, and they want to divide it, and I have to question what is their agenda. Now, I'm going to advise you to not take that bait, okay? Uh, the media wants to sell a story, and they sell a story by eliciting that emotional response from you to pull your attention, to pull on your, the strings of your heart and play games with your mind, and you have to be wiser than that don't take the bait okay don't let them divide us not into black lives matter blue lives matter all lives matter groups okay instead we need to be smarter than that and stay united okay now some of you may think well Lee the all lives matter is a good group and I would agree with you but hey wait a minute now the blue lives matter is a good group too and hey wait a minute now the black lives matter there's some good people in there too okay now, 95% of probably each of these groups has good, honest people that have legitimate concerns. Maybe a small percentage, maybe like 5%, I don't know, of each group has some sort of tainted agenda. And that's going to get to my second teacher. Some people believe in a creator, some people don't. But regardless of whether you believe in a creator or not, let's look at the parable about the tainted meat. God advises the wise Christian to not eat the tainted meat. Now, <clears throat> This is because the young Christian, the inexperienced, the non-wise Christian, if you want to call him that, doesn't know as much as the wise Christian. We have the idolatrous, they take the, the lamb up to the idol and they sacrifice this lamb to this false god, this false idol. And the young Christian sees this and they think it's sacrilegious. The meat is now no good for consumption. It must be burned. It's blasphemous. But of course, the wise Christian knows that since the God is false, no change has occurred to the meat. It's the same after it was before, so it's fine for consumption. But when the wise Christian eats this meat, the foolish Christian, the inexperienced Christian, the young Christian that is not ready for real depth of knowledge, you have to start off with the basics, and you're going to lose them if you offend them. So therefore, we should, the wise Christians should not eat the tainted meat, because it's our responsibility to keep the attention of our students. And in doing so, we should not offend them. Now, I know that there are people out there that say, you can't worry about offending uh, people, Lee. You just need to get on with your life and go do good, honest, true things and let other people deal with it. And if they get in your way, just run them over. All right, there's a time and place for that. But it ain't now. Here's why. The purpose of the each of these groups, any of these Lives Matter groups, is to promote progress. You're not going to obtain progress if you're offending people in the process because you're making divisiveness occur. You're creating an emotional, hateful response, which is part of the problem, not part of the solution. So if you want progress, don't offend your fellow man or woman. Anyway, I refuse to participate in any of these Live Matter groups because 
all lives matter. But I don't want to say all lives matter because there's a small percentage of people that taint that group as tainted meat. And it offends my fellow brother or sister. Everybody matters. Okay? Black Lives Matter has a legitimate concern. Blue Lives Matter has a legitimate concern. All Lives Matter has a legitimate concern. But let's work together instead of divisive. United we stand, divided we fall. Lee Robinson from American Sentinel Canine. I am my brother's keeper. Have a blessed day.